Welcome to Laurelwood, a deed restricted community. Let's go down this road and look at today's deal of the day. Well, today we're staying in front of a real deal of the day. This is 10632 Bay Tree, and I believe that's Bay Tree Court. And we are in the Laurelwood subdivision of Lehigh Acres. This is on city sewer and water. And there's even a nice little park here, community park, community pool. It's a gorgeous place to live. And uh, this was just acquired. We just had the uh, cleaners come and uh, empty out the whatever belongings were inside. So you see a bunch of stuff piled up by the curb here. Uh, house outside doesn't need paint at all. Uh, the, it's a newer paint job on it. It's in great shape. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a newer metal roof. Metal roofs are very expensive, so that's a huge plus is having a metal roof on there. And uh, gorgeous home. This is a uh, wood frame construction with some stucco siding in excellent condition around every corner. And you'll see that as we go around here with the video camera in a second. Inside needs very, very little work. You could almost live in it like it is. Start by showing you the neighborhood here. Great neighborhood, beautiful homes, a little cul-de-sac coming into view there. This is a little deed restricted community. It's got an extremely low HOA fee here. HOA is for Homeowners Association. And it's just a couple hundred bucks every quarter. I'll tell you exactly in a second. And as we walk by all the stuff that we just hauled out of here, I'm gonna put the statistics on the screen. There you go. So as you can see, nice house. A little screened in front area right there will pause. You can see lots of tropical plants here. You trim back and just uh, just be darling as heck. And uh, I'm gonna jump in the car here for a second because I want to tell you exactly what's going on. Each oh, I'm sorry, $160 a quarter. I just looked at the sheet. So 160 bucks a quarter. Garage door has a little bitty kink in it here. You might be able to straighten that. And close up so you can see how nice the paint job is on here. And this is a fenced yard too. As we come around here, I want to show you that uh, you got a, looks like at least an updated AC. That is not a very old AC that's on there at all. And I'll walk around the backyard here. As we come around, fence. And the whole backyard is fenced. As you can see, got a nice big tree here, a little clothesline there. Huge yard. Get a good look here at the roof, as you can see. Gorgeous. It's a very pretty plant here, but obviously just needs to be trimmed. Coming around the back again, paint jobs in beautiful shape. Windows are nice. Look at this yard, comes all the way around. And there's a little patio area coming into view here. You get a real good look at the roof here. It's a hinge patio door. And the purpose of this video is also to point out any of the repairs we notice. It's got a real nice canopy that's a rollout canopy here but I can see right here it's broken off of the bracket so I need, gonna need a new bracket to get that on there and then this whole canopy is designed to roll out over this patio and it looks like this end is also off of its bracket over here could use a little bit of pressure wash out here but that's about it and since we're back here we'll go in the back door but let me stop and pause here there is one broken pane of glass so it's very simple it's a simple weather strip you can probably fix that for about 10 bucks. And the side of the house over here, looking like this. So, since we're at the back door, we'll go in the back door. And there's no power, so it's gonna be a little, the video is gonna be a little dark. But as I come in, it's got very nice tile floors. As you can see in the video here. And they're in excellent condition. Looking up here. Gonna go in and out of focus just a little bit because of how dark it is. Let me see if I can open this window and get us a little more natural light. There, that helps a little bit. Okay, there we go. We've got vaulted ceilings and it's got nice lighting. That's a nice little drop down light there. It's a very nice ceiling fan right here. Just needs to be dusted. Got a nice big plant shelf up along there. Here's our front door right here. Lots of 110 outlets along the walls. Cable TV hookups. We'll check out the rooms in a second. But let me come over here. Our front door opens out to this little screened in area right here, which is just darling. You can see the ceiling's in great condition. Nice little front light right there. 
and kitchen has a full complement of appliances and they're nice appliances and we got a nice kitchen got a nice refrigerator right here cabinets are in good condition and uh, they've got the nice metal rollers on them so I'm going to show you down underneath here everything's in good shape countertops have like an epoxy paint in them I would probably refinish the countertops maybe replace them but we got a stainless steel sink that'll clean up our cupboards here open up and these are all adjustable shelves that are inside the cabinets it's a formica cabinet so easy to keep clean we've got uh, lighting all the way along underneath here as you can see on both sides which is nice a couple of these panels look like they've yellowed but that's just a very inexpensive panel you can cut and replace that for about three or four dollars you can see that the uh, smooth top range right here in good condition microwave oven right there and dishwasher over here as well I want to give you a quick look underneath the sink the sinks are always a little wet under here and we do see some staining under here so probably definitely some cleaning under here they're known for dripping so you may want to just replace this inner sink board here that's it's still pretty solid okay it looks like it's just slightly warped and that's just very common underneath the sink now over here we've got a little desk area and I see washer and dryer hookups there as well in the wall. So my guess is, is that they had a stack washer and dryer and they put this little desk in here, in here or you can pull that out and uh, just put some doors that close and have a full size washer and dryer in there. Little pantry right here also missing the door so just an open air pantry. You could probably pick up a set of doors at Lowe's for about 40 or 50 bucks and do that yourself. This door here opens out to the garage. Let me just see if I can get that open. A little dark out here, but got a side entry drawer right there. Our electric box is right there. Here's our electric garage door opener. Attic access right there. And there's our washer and dryer hookups also in the wall right there. So, uh, however, you want to hook that up. Water heater right over here in the corner, intact. And that's a newer water heater, too. I don't see any rust on it. You can get a good look. Looks like this door is repairable because it looks like this just came right off of here. So that looks like an easy fix. And some shelving out here. Now, let's step back over here. And uh, this bedroom here, this carpet is kind of ugly. I would probably replace the carpet because it's an out of date brown. And obviously a nice paint job inside here is going to go a long ways. But this ceiling fan is a nice ceiling fan, it's just dirty. So that'll clean up, and it's a lighted ceiling fan. We've got twin closets here with ventilated shelving and louvered doors. This can be hard to see in this bathroom, but we do have a mica vanity which, with cultured marble top and large mirror that does match the kitchen. It's a nice light overhead, and this is where you really can't see very well, but, and I'll try to add pictures at the end, that is a decent toilet, a nice big tub and surround with shower in there. So, oh, and nice tile floors in there that match the other tile floors. Also, 110 outlets, TV hookups, cable TV hookups, and telephone on every wall. So this would be the master bedroom. As we walk back over here, obviously a coat of paint is going to go a long way inside here. Same brown color carpeting. And uh, this was obviously a kid's room. It's a pretty cool ceiling fan if you're a baseball lover. Other than that, uh, easy to fix and, or replace rather. But it's in great shape, just a little dirty. Again, 110 outlets on all the walls, cable TV. And uh, this has a large closet. Missing the closet doors, so another $40 set of doors and make that fully functional. Whereas the bedroom doors are all in great shape. Coming in here, hard to see again, but your guest bath, matching mica cabinet just like the cabinets in the kitchen, um, cultured marble top, large mirror, and nice light bar overhead, toilet, and another full-size sink, or rather a tub and shower assembly in there to match the master. Third and final guest bedroom right here. And just this brown paint makes this place feel small, but it's actually not that bad of a little house. Ceiling fan will clean up real, real nice. Lots of 110 outlets on all the walls. Here's that broken window, which is easy to fix. Again, no closet door right here. 
but again, an easy fix. And cable in the room as well. Air conditioning appears to be 100% intact. So really, at the end of the day, you can have a real nice little house here. If you're just willing to come in and throw a coat of paint on it, you could actually clean this up, clean the carpets. They're nice enough that you could clean the house and live in it just like it is. Or throw a paint job on it, throw some new carpet in the bedrooms, and geez, for very, very little money and work, you get yourself a nice little house in a spectacular part of Lehigh Acres. So if you're just looking for a place to crash, or live here full time, or be a snowbird, this is perfect. If you'd be interested in this property, my information is coming up on the screen in just a minute. My name is Dave Denton, local real estate broker here in sunny Southwest Florida. I'd like to wish you and yours a blessed and wonderful day, and look forward to seeing you in sunny Southwest Florida real soon. You take care and God bless. I just want to add a little addendum as we drive through Laurelwood. It's a beautiful area. And uh, this is the community park and pool coming up here on the right hand side. And this is yours for use year round. And if you can pick it up, it's got a little tiny clubhouse, all kinds of places to hang out there. It's a beautiful pool. You can see the water from here, but full and ready to use. And uh, then you've got this park here. There's a horseshoe pit right here. This nice little park. Bring your dog down to. That's just a real pretty little area of nice homes. So that concludes our little deal here of Laurelwood. Take care. Bye-bye.